Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Camping and Survival series. Uh, we've got another box in today, the Mystery SHTF gear box. And of course, this is from Bud K. Uh, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we've got inside. All right, everybody, so here we go. We've got a handful of products here, a uh, total uh, of uh, five. And uh, we've got uh, the card to start off with. I'll go ahead and use that as my kind of ballpark figure. And uh, we'll go ahead, and I'm just gonna follow it down through the card here and uh, go with it. So the first thing they're gonna say right, is right here, and this is a five pack of the Molly webbing clips. And as you can see, the, what it is is you take and squeeze the side here, and it locks in at, the, at this part here. Yeah, squeeze it again, and you can then lift it up. And uh, these are just kind of a plastic here. Now this does have a little bit of a tab right here. So uh, what you do is you can take and fasten this down and have uh, some gear uh, attached to this. However, uh, you utilize it so that you can then attach it to your Molly gear. So if your gear doesn't have a specific Molly kind of attachment, you can use these where you can take and attach it to the one, then slip it down into the other and uh, the Molly pieces are working with each other holding it, holding it secure. Uh, now this did come in a pack of five it said and uh, they say that this is supposed to retail for about five dollars. We'll go with the next one which is the fire starter necklace and uh, the side was split open. Now of course this was uh, a trailblazer um, kind of thing whereas uh, the Molly gear is by M48 Ops. So uh, just to mention who these are by, and uh, this is basically, this is a 550 type cord. Uh, I don't believe this is actual 550 because it doesn't feel, doesn't feel quite heavy enough. Maybe it is, but uh, it's got this nice little kind of slip knot. So you can throw it around your neck and if you want to uh, tighten it down, you uh, grab the sides here and pull it until it goes tight. Uh, I've had necklaces like this before that do that. You can uh, then of course slide it open so that it's longer if you uh, want to leave it laid down. But then you've got a uh, piece of flint right here and the flint of course is drilled out so that the, uh, the paracord can slide up through it and it kind of acts like a bolo tie. Uh, in that aspect and then you've got this little round thing here and the round thing here that has the serrated edges and so what you can do is you have this together keeps everything where you need it you can take a hold of the paracord and do your striking so let's see if we can get it to do something here all right and there we go so it does it does work the next thing here We've actually, we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the LED light. And again, this is by Trailblazer. Uh, this is a five LED angled flash, angle head flashlight. Now this is kind of like the old military style ones. I remember uh, I was in Scouts when I was a kid and these were kind of uh, a big deal. Uh, one of the things we always had were always the, uh, the little seats that go in there to change the color, which this is the same kind of build as what it was when I was a kid for the most part. You have the little slide button here on the side. Uh, there is a little button that you can just push and that's an instant on button. Or if you wanna keep it on, you can use the slide button and slide it up. You've got a nice little belt clip there to hook it onto your belt or onto your Molly gear. Uh, you then can spin the end off and uh, here's the connections. Now normally this would have been the uh, regular light bulb that it would have had in it, but of course this one uses the um, four LEDs, four or five LEDs right there that you can see. And uh, let's see, got the little gasket ring in there and it has the uh, little plastic uh, cover uh, to, uh, to keep the lights safe. And let's go ahead and screw that back together. Now, uh, something else with this too is, uh, like I said, there were the things where you could uh, you could kind of change the color. 
the different filters and they had like red and and uh, di I know red was the big one and then I think they might have had like green or blue or something like that and to do that this is actually a two piece where you can unscrew it here and then you can take and put a filter drop the filter inside there and uh, so now you have uh, changed the color to uh, whatever the other color is that you want to use now you unscrew here at the bottom and uh, go ahead and put in your D batteries uh, and I believe this is two D batteries that this takes you can uh, if you do want to change your colors you then this is a two-piece part as well you take and open that up and here are your colors so you've got your yellow you've got green blue and then the red so uh, you can change the colors to whatever you need if you need to use certain colors for uh, emergency situations or something like that you have them available and uh, this did of course have the uh, rubber ring around it so this is a fairly water tight I'm not gonna say it's waterproof but it should be fairly water resistant and then you've got your little flip up here where you can take and use it to hang off of something so pretty simple straightforward I mean it is a lightweight plastic uh, so of course it's not going to be something super durable like a piece of uh, machined aluminum might be but uh, definitely something that's very handy uh, of course the downside being you have to use those big old D batteries and it is fairly bulky but uh, otherwise these ones are always uh, have always been really good really nice um, kind of a, a staple of the old military uh, kind of concept um, in terms of lighting now let's see we've got uh, for this one this is well it just says a folding wallet as I can see here you can see right first off you've got kind of this opening here and that opening is very similar to uh, what I've seen with wallets and things like that where um, it kind of has that opening to show the uh, the bill that's in there you could see like Ben Franklin or Jefferson's face through there or something like that uh, and now you open it up this way um, and it's this side soft this side has kind of a, a stiffener in it so you could uh, slide money in that way so I'm guessing you could slide other things maybe in here maybe some cards or something other than maybe holding the survival cards and stuff like that I don't know exactly how great this is gonna be in terms of a shit hits the fan situation but it's there it's there so but, uh, and then we'll go to our last one. And of course, this will be my, this is my favorite. Uh, and something I want to mention before I get into this real quick too. Uh, I didn't mention the other ones, but the uh, Firestarter necklace, they do say it's supposed to be about $7. Uh, then they say the flashlight is supposed to be $10. And they suggest $5 for the wallet. Uh, I feel too much for the wallet too much for the necklace. The necklace should only be five bucks I think because that is a very small piece of flint. Uh, and then the flashlight, ten bucks for the flashlight. Um, yeah for these ones uh, just because I know how how useful they can be. And uh, now we've got again the knife. Uh, the, now this is they call it the Jungle Survivor two-piece set. Uh, and uh, this one here says the Amazon Jungle Survivor. Uh, and then it says the hunter becomes the hunted. Ooh, scary. So here we go. Um, we of course, first off, we've got the sheath. It's just a simple lightweight nylon sheath. Uh, it has a little bit of molding here. Uh, it has the, uh, the nice long hanging belt loop there. And the molding is actually just a foam. So very, very cheap, very cheap in terms of, uh, I mean, it's good enough to hold it, but I don't know how well it will do to, uh, with a lot of, with a lot of use or anything, like its durability. Uh, now we'll go with the, uh, the folder. Now it does have the little finger button here, so we'll flip it out. So it uh, looks like we've got um, about a three and a half, maybe about a four inch blade, um, three and three quarters, somewhere in there. Uh, fairly nice. It does have that kind of opening on the back, and I forget what that's for. Uh, it does have kind of a groove here, so you could call it kind of a, a blood groove if you want, but it's only on one side, it's not on the other. Uh, this does have, uh, looks like um, this is a, 
Yeah, that is a saber grind. And this is, I believe this is considered a, uh, uh, I think this is considered a drop point where it kind of comes down. It's kind of a spearhead kind of look, kind of, kind of even on both, on both sides. Uh, now it's, it feels reasonably sharp. Let's take a look here. It's cutting the hair a little bit. It's not real sharp. So, but what is cool is it has this kind of hammered, um, hammered iron or hammered steel kind of look to it. It's kind of a muddled, uh, kind of, kind of iron look to it. This is, uh, these scales uh, on the side, they're just a very thin, lightweight, kind of cheap feeling plastic. Um, they feel very hard, almost like the kind of plastic that's a little bit brittle. Uh, it does have the inline uh, lock there, so you just slide it over to close it. And that does have an assist, there is a spring there. So when you do the flip up, the reason why it flips as easy as it does is that. It has a little piece of uh, paracord here, and I'm sure this is, I believe it's, uh, what, 200? Um, is the next size down actually from the 550. So, I mean, it's something. Uh, if you need to, uh, it looks like a long enough piece, you could replace one of your shoelaces if you needed to. Uh, or, of course, doing some basic lightweight tie-up and everything. Uh, now we've got the much larger knife blade here. And uh, as you can see, this one too also has that modeling. Uh, now you've got a roughly a, uh, looks like another, yep, about a four inch straight section here. Then you have the uh, shred type of blade there. The uh, and then on the back here, you've got the grooves and uh, what, I, what I did find out, I forgot about this before, but this is actually for uh, fish scaling. Uh, so you can of course scale your fish there. Uh, there is also another section here, um, which is actually just like a smaller variation of this. So I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be in terms of usefulness. Um, this would definitely be good for scaling fish, but I don't exactly know what you would use that for. But it's a it's a plastic handle, but it has a slightly rubberized feel to it. So you've got a little bit of grip to it. Um, it does have uh, the nice little finger guard right there uh, to keep it from uh, sliding up. Um, but uh, and then you've got that finger lock right there at the back or at the front. I mean, and. Uh, fits in the hand pretty nice. It uh, feels pretty good. It's got uh, a forward weight to it, so it does feel like um, this could be a good one for uh, doing some chopping. Uh, now this isn't real thick, so uh, if you're going to take it out and you're going to baton with it, uh, I would be careful. Uh, you do have the, the teeth on the back end here, and those teeth on the back end there will go with what I just saw, which I didn't notice it before, but your little fire starter stick right there it's a cheap knife set so what do you expect I mean it they're asking 20 bucks they say for it and 20 bucks is you know because this is cheap plastic on the outside uh, and and this handle is fairly light and cheap I mean it, it doesn't feel horrible but it doesn't feel like good uh, by any means um, I wouldn't call it like quality uh, so I would say I would I would say maybe 15 for the set but uh, yeah, you guys want to check these out, go ahead down there to the description below. We'll have a link to the Bud K site. And uh, of course, while you're down there, don't forget our social media and on your way down or on your way back up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done it already. Also, hit one of those little subscribe buttons either in the corner or the big red one down below the video, as well as that little bell icon. Hit that one and you'll get notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is uh, the World of Me and another episode from our Camping and Survival series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.